Shalom to everyone. Today, finally, we get together for another amazing shiur of Zena Shimshon, Parashat Shelach Lecha. We're learning Zena Shimshon Lera Zain. Number one, we want to thank Mr. Rochel Mosheev for supporting the food for Zela Shimshon today. <clears throat> On behalf of Rafua Shlema, of his grandfather, Ari Ben Berta Balor. Shel Rafua Shlema, Father Nefesh of Father Guv, and so on, Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Two days ago, we all gathered 75 people, among them young boys, young girls, who want to get married. And then, we got a lot of people who needed Yeshuot. We pray to Hashem on the merit of the Tzadik, Harav Tzadik, Eliyahu Yosef Rabinovitz, to accept our Tfilot, and all that we prayed for should be answered speedy. Amen. Amen. And whoever wanted to be there or couldn't be there, Hashem should give them baracha and fulfill their heart desires. Be'ezad Hashem, those who waiting, wait, waiting the wedding of their children should be bekarov, ba'atzlacha. Those who waiting to get married themselves should be ba'atzlacha. Today's shiur, I promise you, I promise to anyone who's not married, you learn two things from today's shiur, you'll be married within six months. But you have to teach yourself. If you get into the life of Torah, you have to close your eyes. Open Hashem's eyes. Look at the things from Hashem's eyes. You have two things, you'll be married within six months. Ready? In the Haftarah of this week's Parsha, Haftarah talks about how Jewish nation came out from Egypt and they were already 40 years in the desert and now they're entering into the land of Canaan. So Yoshua Binun is sending two messengers to go and see, not to say the land good or bad, they already know the land is good, to see if they're ready to come in. The quarantine is over. So now, when they came, they came to the hotel of a woman by the name... Rachav. Rachav. Rachav became later on the wife of Yoshua. But for now, Torah mentions a certain name. We don't know if it's... Who is she? Parsha, when you read after that, it says openly, Rachav Zona. She was Zona. What means Zona? Not kosher woman. Immoral woman. Who makes sin with every man. Second reason. What means zona? The one who is open hearted people. Whoever come to her hotel. She makes sure even if he doesn't pay for his food. She makes sure he eats. She feeds people. She makes sure that people eat. Mm. So zona from the word. Ha'el azan otanu. Hashem you feed us. Sustain. Sustain us. You sustain us with food. So again, there's two ways to look at who was Zona. Gemara in Megillah says, if you say two times Zona, uh, Rachav, Rachav, people who knew her because of her beauty, if they would think about her, they would have Zerla Vatala on the spot. They would sin on the spot. Right away. Why? Because she was so beautiful. After, uh, <clears throat> after Sarah Imenu, People say that Lachav was the second one. Oh, wow. Okay? <laughs> now, let's go to this week's Shi'ur. And I'm repeating for the one more time. Because I'll tell you the truth. I'm fortunate that in my life I work with all type of groups of people. I sit by the table with old people. I sit by the table with small kids because I teach them and I sit with the people with the middle age group. 
And I realized one thing. To be successful, you have to pay attention to Shila Malot that you say in 121. Me'ayin Yavo Ezri. Me'ayin Yavo Ezri. You know what Me'ayin means? Nothing. From where? From where my help will come? <coughs> that is simple answer. With simple answer, we don't go far. We go to the Chachamim's eyes. What's Me'ayin? Hashem created the whole world. Yesh Me'ayin. Yeah. Something from? Nothing. 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 Ah, thank you, Rabbi Yilan. You already know what I'm going to. Yesh Me'ayin is something from nothing. When you want to do steps in life, opening business, putting your step into marriage, having a child, making business partnership, and you say, it's me, 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 me. This is where Hashem says, I'm out. I'm out. Hashem says, you, want, you, don't, you don't want me there. You, you don't want me there. You're too smart for me. But when you say, there's nothing but Hashem. Hashem, what do you want me to do? Hashem says, when you say there is nothing, this is where I'm coming to the picture and I'm going to rule everything. Yes, This is where Hashem says, I'll come to the picture. Look what happens here. I'm reading Aftarah. Vatikach Aisha et shnea nashim vatitzpanehu. So now, Rachav is holding these people in the hotel, and people found out that there are two spies here in the hotel. So they start knocking on the door. Rachav says, Guys, those came, they'll destroy you. I have to hide you. And what happens? Pinchas says, Listen, don't worry, hide him. You don't need to hide me. Why not? Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, because 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 he can fly away. He is gonna Camel be flush. invisible. 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 Yeah, invisible. And then Haftarah says, "Vatit panehu," and she hides him. Him who? Singular. Right. Sure. Singular. I mean, um, Kalev. Kalev. Kalev Ben She hides him. Where we're gonna see right now, after the branches, we'll see. She hides him behind the branches, but on the roof. But him, Pincha, she doesn't hide. Why? He's invisible. Stop. Stop for a second. Comes out Chaim Kanievsky and his brother-in-law. Rabbi Zilberstein. And Rabbi Zilberstein is asking a question. If you have Shiduch, two types of Shiduch. A, family is very religious, good people, but the girl is crooked. Or, family is not religious, like Goim, but the girl is Tzadakar. Girl. Hey, which one the would you marry? Hey, hey. No. Which one would you marry? She was raised. When I say crooked, she's a when I say crooked, that means she's not religious. No, no, not, not, right, not, not, not she's religious, normal girl. Just not sure what she wants to do in life because there's no experience. I'm not talking about that. Family is not religious. He already, she knows. She's, she knows she's not. Upbringing is wrong. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> you went back. You went Wait. back in the days now. <laughs> Wait. Why you gotta go back there? For? Wait. Our family was not exactly the good people, and we took the Sadiq and the other. We two, two, right? Okay. Malo Arshan Aulov, being almost ten years in our shul, he has experience. He has experience. A little bit. So now, these rabbis, now Chaim Kanievsky, guys. I read the book, I was like, I wanted to give this shiur over there. On the trip. On the trip. I was so exhausted, everything flipped out. But you know what I'll tell you? If you have hard question in the Gemara, when you're driving between the mountains, or you stay between the mountains, over there you'll get your answers. Now I know why big rabbis, they go on you summer to, mountain. to mountains. Why? When you look at the nature, it's not what people build. What people build, they have sometimes clean heart, sometimes dirty heart. Why my boss did like this? Why my worker did like this? Why my this? You know, they always argue. 
Because of this, in their creation, there's dirt. They build plane, dirt, sometimes plane breaks. They build car, car breaks. Mountain, Hashem created. When you sit by the nature, clean atmosphere, you get a lot of Torah. I was driving, everything was opening up, huh? So many dead deers on the road. He again answered my question. What killed the deer? Mountain killed or car killed? Car. Car killed. Why? Because when car was built, it was built with the dirty heart. You understood now? Oh, thank you. Now again, you prove the point. Listen to me. Whatever we say, it's true 100%. There's no here maybes. Unfortunately, I don't want to say, but some people also die because of cars. Unfortunately. What? Unfortunately. So, car so now, let's talk to the point. When you sit by the nature, your brain opens up. Now, Rav Chaim Kanevsky asking a question. And Rabbi Zibushtin. Who do you marry? The whole family is religious? A girl is crooked, walks around with pants, doesn't keep Shabbat. Or, the whole family not religious. But the girl says, I want to marry a guy, I want to make him learn all day. Who do you marry? Second one. Why does it second one. Why second one? To show you. Three scenarios I'll give you. But the third one is most important today. Uh-huh. The first scenario is Aram Avinu. He sends Eliezer to marry Rivka from his family. The family is crooked. But the girl is religious. She made Itzhak Avinu into Itzhak Avinu. Who? Rivka Emenu. Second, Yaakov is marrying who? Rachel and Leah. They brought Shvatim. Who is their father? Lavan. <coughs> Dirty. The third one is very scary. Who's the third one? The third one is son of Aaron a Cohen, Elazar. Oh, he married the. Elazar married the daughter of priest Yitro. Yeah. Yitro, Yitro, yeah. Who came out? Pinchas. Pinchas ben Elazar ben Aaron a Cohen. Uh, wow. They bring it. Yeah, not, it's not, it's not, I wouldn't even come to this. Wait. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Wait. Even Chacham of Sea. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so now, because, because, he's imploring. Aharon saw a good qualities in the daughter of a priest, Pope. Yitro's daughter, who came out? Pinchas. Who Pinchas became? Eliyahu Anavi. Why? The whole foundation of the family stands on women. If you go with your decisions, you're not going to get far. You have to go with Hashem's decision. Stop. What Hashem wants me to make decision? You looking for Kudo? You looking for Kudo? Who's proper Kudo? Who's proper family that you should intermarry? We look. Ah, he has beard. He has no beard. He has pale. He doesn't have pale. Big keeper, small keeper. This is wrong look. What's the proper look? I'll tell you a story that they bring it. Who's they? Rabbi Zilberstein. Ah, okay. In the book, he adds first in the beginning, Rabbi Chaim Kanievsky, and then Rabbi Zilberstein. It's a beautiful book. And it says like this. This story I said 18 years ago in Beth Gavriel. Many books bring it. Click on the link. Click on the link. In the family chat. No, no, I'm sending it to you. I'm sending it to you. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Thank you. Sorry about that. I apologize. For you, anytime. I sent it to you. There was a rabbi by the name of Rabbi Batesh. Listen, guys. Anything you could close your eyes on, Shiduchim. Not with this. With this, you close your eyes. It's gonna bite a person. If he closes on everything and goes after this, I promise you the zivug will go 100% perfect. And they'll be thankful to you all their life. So the question is what is the zivug? Who, what kind of kudo I should look for if it's too hot to the ACM? No, it's fine. Rabbi Batesh. 
had a daughter. The other man, religious Jews, had a son. So they came to do Shidduch. And they made appointment for Tuesday. Tuesday is our Shimshon night, we don't come. Appointment is 5 o'clock. 2 o'clock daytime, Rav Batesh is sitting, excited, preparing candies, cookies, everything is ready. Comes this neighbor, poor neighbor, and crying, Rabbi, you have no idea, I lost my job, Rabbi. They kicked me out, I have kids. Tomorrow morning, what dinner breakfast I don't have? Worried, crying, crying. I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you, I know this video goes everywhere, I'm going to have a thousand enemies. But I'll tell you, I don't care, you know why? You got to be truthful. If you're not truthful, one day it's going to come out and you're going to be really embarrassed. A lot of people in the community talk about sensitivity. How do I know they're fake? How do I know they're real? If they're sensitive towards anybody, good. But if they pick and choose to be sensitive on, fake. Oh, he has money, I got to be sensitive to him. Oh, he's more... He has bigger house. I got to be sensitive to him. He has he is, he is better donations. I got to be sensitive to him. Sensitive. Huh? Please, please sit down, sit down, stand up. Please, take, 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 you know. You get your chair. Uh, I see somebody's a little bit lower classes. Uh, I don't know here. No, I don't know. Whatever. Fake. How do I know? Some people talk about sensitivity. You go into public, they make face down as if they don't see you. Mm. It happens once, I understand. Five times, six times, seven times, eight times. Then you say one second. Is everything okay here? Contradiction, something going on here. Sensitivity is a God gifted thing. But you have to always build on it. You don't build on it, it dries out. So Rabbi Batesh was one of those. You see, over here, people sitting here. How many here, people? 20 people right now? Right now, how many? 20? 25 people. Do you know more than 10,000 lives were saved on coronavirus because of 25 people? They came to my house when my son had glass in his leg bleeding. I didn't know what to do. I was lost. They advised me to call a child. Was that such a thing? Yes. See this guy over there sitting, Jonathan? He called me, said, Rabbi, with tears. He had tears. I had tears. Just now started pandemic. People dying left and right. You, you lost your brain. You don't know what to do. Put him past. Pesach's coming. In a week, Pesach. Crazy everything. He says, Rabbi, I have pharmacy. Anyone needs free medications, tell them to call me. I'll give them free. A lot of people came and picked it up. You see this person here, Rochelle? If he wouldn't bring me medicine, I wouldn't be here now. I took medicine one after another because I had fever. It didn't go down right away. My kids had, my wife had, everybody, everybody, my, all this, all of you, Ilya Baev's on their side, uh, Kanchorov's on their side, they're not here today. Other people, Reptilion, praying for us. Other people, everybody, everybody, they start gathering together. Nisim, this, Rabbi Ovadia, Ibrahimovs, everyone, Yadgarovs, everyone came, helped together. Aulovs, everybody, everybody. Basalilovs, everyone came and built it up. Ilyao, this is what sensitivity is. Sensitivity. Sensitivity is a very big thing. Once you have it, you want, you don't want, you always connect it with Hashem. Why? Because you have pain of others. And that is what's important. Rabbi Batesh, when he had this Chatan with his parents come, he's so pale. The guy could have thought, wow, Rabbi wants to cancel the wedding. He's not in the face, in the mood, what's going on? He said, Rabbi, we came to make Kanchori, Shinichori. You look pale, everything's okay. Rabbi Batesh says, you know what, maybe we'll put Shinichori for tomorrow. He said, Rabbi, why? He says, you know, I'm not comfortable. I I'm losing my mind. My neighbor lost his job. He cannot feed his family. That Kudo said, Rabbi... Who cares about your neighbor? Who cares your daughter's wedding? Who cares about them? Let's do this now. In a week, we'll take care of that. Leave them alone. Who cares about those people? 
Rabbi Batesh got up from the spot and said, Stop. If you have no feelings for other family dying from hunger, I cannot be kudo with you. Bye. Wow. I don't want my daughter again. I'll wait six months, I'll wait a year, but I'll be kudo with people who have heart. Okay. Not people who have money, not people who have houses, not people who have cars, not people who have names. Oh, his name like this, but but hello, inside the name, there's a lot of things cooking over there. Mm-hmm. No, it's, 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 it's this, this, only this. He doesn't care about people. He doesn't, he's only me, 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 me. I don't care, my daughter will enjoy, your daughter is not going to enjoy. This is the eye of Torah. You have that, I promise you. A, you close your eyes from fakeness. Realities is not me, me, me too much. It's Hashem. Two, you need someone who will be opening your door and taking care of a poor man. Somebody's crying, you will give something. Your wife will give something. This is what kind of family you look for. Everything else, garbage. Nobody took Rolex with them into that world. Nobody took their houses or cars to there. Nobody took nothing. You take only one thing with you, your mitzvot, your chesed. Rabbi said, you have no feelings for other family? I have no feelings for you. Get out of here. And he kicked him out. And Shiduk stopped. This case, you should stop Shiduk. That's the only case to stop. Do you understand? Now, makes sense to me why Eliezer looked for Rivka's what? Water for who? For me and for camels. Once you're sensitive to the animals... Mm-hmm. You're sensitive to people. If you're not sensitive to animals, you're done. We know who you are. You know, last week I was sitting in Yeshua with his father in law, Mr. Basalilov, with his father. He said one story, I loved it. I want to share with you the story. Zashisha will take me five minutes. But the story changed my changed my insight. I was like, is that Mr. Basalilov? Wow! Chazak Baruch. Listen to what's going on in life. There were two towns in Russia. You know, you want to you imagine those towns? Go to Lancaster. Okay, towns, horses, run away, you know. Yesterday we were driving there, okay? Uh, you see mountain roads over there. You see cows, sheep, horses working, plowing the land, you know. All the days you see here, no electricity there. Kaif. You drive there, you enjoy. So there's two towns, Amish, Jewish people, Jewish people. One of them is very religious. No. Talk about about in Russia, Russia, relax. In Russia, two towns of Jewish people. So one town came to visit the second town. They came to visit, they see they have nice young men. They said, hey, listen, come to our town, we have good chiduk for you. That is second. Cousin, he didn't know her. So he said, three days will come. Three days later, they prepared their horses, everything, and then they came to the... As they come, they said, wait, in five minutes, the girl will go to the front yard. You from this field, look at the front yard. You like her? She do. What happened? They had a lot of chickens in the house. You know, chickens, ducks. Suddenly, she had nice dress, the girl. And she hanged on a hanger. We did that, hanger fell too. The dress fell on the floor. One chicken was running, running on top of it. Taking bath, you know, chickens like uh, to take bath on the. She takes that chicken with her head into the wall. It got out with Kadash. Chicken was dead. The guy saw. He said, No. He already imagined what's gonna happen to him, right? On the second day of the wedding. Done. He came to his uncle. He said, Uncle, where's the shul here? You know, parents are cousins, so he called him uncle. He said, shul three blocks away. He ran to the shul. He ran to the shul. He says, now Mincha time. People come from Mincha. He saw people packed to the shul. He takes the Daka box and runs outside to the street. They said, Ibi, do what? Uh, call, call police right away. They took him, they took him, they put him on the floor, tied him with the ropes. Police comes, put him in the uh, wagon. Uh, wagon. Overnight, they kept him. They gave him some fine. Father came, they gave him. Well, a thousand dollars, one thousand dollars, it's okay. Wedding money went on this, you know. They get thousand dollars. He knew his son is not crazy guy. There's something wrong here. There's something wrong going on here. So what he did, 
He said, listen, the, the Kudor said, listen, your son is Duz. Your son is uh, Duz Bacha, you know. Wow. It's not for us, not for us. You, you're a robber, you steal. You're not for us. You, we can't be Kudor with you. Go home. He went. As they came home, the father looked at him and said, I'm not coming out from the wagon. You got to tell me the truth. What's going on here? You, it's not you what you did. Tell me what's going on. He said, Abba, this girl is not for me at all. He said the whole story. She's very vicious. She took a chicken stock on the, on the wall because chicken ran out of her garment. Okay, big deal. Wash your garment. But this, uh, this viciousness. Lack of sensitivity. I don't, want, I don't want that. I don't want that. Because sensitivity is a life. There's no sensitivity, there's death. I don't want to deal with it. I don't like this one. So if I'm going to go right now, say, oh boy, don't worry, she's like this, like this, I'm going to ruin her name. I'd rather my name to be ruined. But not hers. So I went to the shoe. I came with the idea to steal tzedakah box. Well, I need that tzedakah box. It's not even $2 there. I need the tzedakah box. So I stole it by purpose. In order, I should be in trouble. They should cancel on me. And I don't want to cancel on them. Why am I telling you this story? Because Sensitivity is important thing. You go to ma- get married. You soon are going to have kudo. Check Sensitivity. Do you know what I'll tell you? I'm not into politics, I'm not, in, I'm not into news. But if one fool would have sensitivity towards a person and not sit on his neck for nine minutes, the whole world would not get crazy. Lack of sensitivity destroys the world. Billionaire, billionaire rust from his store for a few million dollars objects because somebody did not have sensitivity. So we see from here, sensitivity puts life in danger. From the other hand, sensitivity saves lives. During coronavirus, I saw everyone came. There's like supporting, huh, here, here, we're here, so much suffering. Sensitivity is very important. You want to check something from Shidduch, this is what you do. You check if your kudo, Buddhist kudo, or your wife, or your kala, sensitive. Once you see she's sensitive, stop. No questions here. Tomorrow's wedding. Oh Why? Hashem's eye shows me she is Rivka. From her will come out Yaakov Avinu. And then 12 Shvatim. Finished. There's nothing to talk about. Anything else in your brain means you don't believe in Hashem. Finished. There's nothing to talk about. Sin. I spoke over these few months. Many guys with Shiduchim. Especially in Buffalo. 90% boys confused. 90%. Listen, she's a good girl. Uh, during barbecue, my nephew is pushing me. Carl, stop talking to him. I said, no, wait. I'm talking to him. No, but you know. But you know. But, 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 but you know. No, no, there's no but you know. Sir, good morning. Open your eyes. You don't believe in Hashem. You think you run the world. You don't. You're not running the world. Close your eyes. Depend on Hashem. Trust in Hashem. He's going to take care of you. Believe me, he took care of some million, billion people. He's going to take care of you also. Close your eyes. Go. Hashem will take care of you. This is where we're making mistakes. And this is where we have to wake up. You see sensitivity? Go for it. Why? This is what continues. This is where you have tzaddikim children. This is where you have tzaddik good heart children. Children who have care about people. It comes from mother. It doesn't come from father. Father is good. It comes from mother. Why? Father cares about working, making money. Woman also does. Still they have time to give some sense into the children. And that is sensitivity. You have that. I'll tell you a simple case. Malone Nathaniel. I told him, listen, we are going, whole barbecue is on our head. We don't know what to do with the breakfast. He said, I'll try to get some cereal, <laughs> some, some eggs, some cream cheese, this some, we ate there first day, we ate there second day, we came back and still two, three buckets. I don't know, I brought home, I don't know what I did with it. There were eggs, bucket of 300 eggs at least. This is some eggs. This is sensitivity, you understand? Because I didn't think about the eggs, but when I came to the hotel room, I said, one second. I have no idea, I have no idea. I said, one second, next morning, what I'm going to feed people? And I see this egg, this saved us. I see different things saved us. Sensitivity. Guys, 
I'm not joking with you. I'm telling you reality of the world. Do you know what I'll tell you? You know what the most thing scared me from coronavirus? The passing away of my Rebbe, Rav Aaron Walking. He was a sensitive person. When I had problems, I knew I'll come to him, he's going to cry with me. I was robbed six months after my wedding. I couldn't sleep in my apartment. I was sleeping with my father in my father's house. I was scared. I said, if somebody can come to me at night to my house, I'm scared. For two weeks, I couldn't sleep in the house. I told him, he was sitting with me and crying with me. When I told to other people, there were two people sitting in a party. I said to them, you know what? Please pray for me. My mind is going not good. He said, why? I said, I got robbed. They said, hey, let me tell you a story. <laughs> let me tell you story. What happened? One poor guy, because when I got married, I had nothing in my pocket. One poor guy, he, he was married, and the robber came to the house, and he saw there was nothing to steal, and they ran away. <laughs> and they were both laughing. Honestly, they were lucky I didn't have a gun in my hands. <laughs> Because this is not the way you count somebody down by making fun of the story when somebody's suffering. Sensitivity, it's a big key to have. It's a heart. Now, you see this in a girl, you go on. Finished! Nothing to talk about. Your stomach is empty, hungry. Your wife, who's sensitive, will know it before you come home because she's sensitive. She feels your child is talking long language. Mm. Going somewhere or doing something, she's sensitive. She's going like, to come over here, sit over here, don't move. Sensitivity. When there's no sensitivity, big deal, nothing will happen. What will happen? And the child gets out, okay, don't worry, you're going to be fine. We're going to take you to the doctor, we're going to take you to we're gonna give you medications until then it's already too late. You understand? This is sensitivity is very important. Now, Oh wow, let's begin the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rabbi, this was a double double dose this week. For the whole three months. Malay I'll tell you one thing. I'm not used to being up this late, Rabbi. I really, I really miss you big time. But I'll tell you, with the zikhud of the shiur, everyone will have big time issue of this week starting. Amen. Let's do the show. Let's go. Maxim! So now, our Farshim asking many questions. Question number one, what would you ask question? Ask me a good question on this. Pichas and Kalev in Lachau's house. Ask me a question. What's the question? First question. How can... Why should she save them? How can she be in the house? Why should she save them? How can they be in the house? How can they... Hey, hey, she knew. Hey, she knew they're already taken care of. Why? Because she had 31 kings and all the information she had in her brain what 31 different different kings had so she already knew everything was going on she knew Kalis is coming they're going to destroy them they're already 40 years in the death she knows everything I guess we're talking about but the point is how can they be in her house hello this is woman Zona how can you be there how can you be there who can permission to be there? Oh, Tzadik? Ah, Tzadik can come to the restaurant where everybody dancing without clothes. Don't worry, I'm going to cover my eyes. I'm going to be fine. You're not going to be fine, sir. Stop. Don't go there. Get out. So why did they go? Let's go inside. And now you'll have the best shot with this. And I'm telling you, you think, you think this shoe is for 30 minutes was empty? Some of you want to take chairs and throw on me? You will see within four or five months. Sitting over here, it's gonna spread Kedusha. We'll have a lot of weddings. Amen. 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 Maxim. Maxim. The Hakatif. I says. Vatit menem. Why are you telling me she hides only one? It says she hides both of them. We see that she she was she was hiding both of them. But, oh, then also another question. And also, we know when Hashem makes miracles, Hashem makes miracles when there's no choice anymore. There's no choice anymore. There's no choice, so Hashem will do it anyway. Hashem will do a miracle anyway. And this is not min hagoshem vaot. Shadaim pinchas lo hayam alach. One second. How can pinchas say, "Don't worry, don't cover me. I'm going to be invisible." He wasn't He's an not angel. an angel yet. He's not an angel yet. Rakish kasher baam. He was just simple kosher man, kosher person. Ish kasher. Yes. Vaot. Another question. Kasher lefi pshutos shal mikra. It's a question regarding the simple meaning of the pasuk 
איך הותר להם להתייחד עם הנוכרית? How can they be in one house with the Goya? ובפרט שהייתה זונה מופקרת, she was free, free זונה, come and open market, open market, ואז גבו אותו, open market, והיית בשולחן ערוך אבן העזר, היית עם שולחן ערוך אבן העזר, סימן כ"ב סיב ה', לא תתייחד אישה אחת אפילו עם אנשים הרבה. You want to really go to the Zoom? It stopped. One woman should not be in the room. Re- re-enter. Should I stop. tell him to log on again? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, you signed up from there? Yes. You have to start it again. Hello. One woman should not hide, should not be in the room even with 10 men. Uh, Press on it, it's going to come out. Hello. This one? Yes. Join. R A B B I. I did that. No, no, Cap cycles on. Caps, cap on. Go. They have to log on again, right? Hello. Let everybody Adam, back Adam, in. Adam, Adam. I think you were the only one. Guys, we're working yeah, on the Zoom. Okay. Give us a minute, they'll be back up. We're working on the Zoom. Give us a minute. Technical difficulties. Can't trust you. I didn't know. Audio, yeah. Video, I don't know. It's on. It's on, it's on. Okay. Okay, good. אה, תלי מינוס הוא ידם, תלי מינוס. לא תתייחד אישה אחת אפילו עם אנשים הרבה. תלי מינוס. אם אין וומן, אם אין טן מן, כן אין בי וואן וומן אין דה רום, וואן וומן וואן טן מן, ספיישלי, אוקיי? וגם שייחוד הנוכלית לא אסרו אלא בבי שמאי. So now one second. We know that ייחוד was for גויים, for גויות, to be with a Jew. They established בימי הלל ושמאי. Only they established during הלל and שמאי. There was not during פנחס yet. Goyot, right? Yeah, but she's who? Rachav who? She's a Goya. She's Goya, very good. Kedamrim b'perek bet avod azara. It says in Gemara avod azara, chapter 2, page 36b. Zenicha. That's good. Leklalud Yisrael. Aval anashim tzadikim pshita. You know, this is only a simple Jewish person. For Goya, you're not allowed. You, you're allowed to be uh, in, in one room. As in the Yichud, but we're not talking about simple people. Kalev and Pinchas, they are tzaddikim. Tzaddikim, they should be careful. Even the decree is not here yet. They should be already careful. Liklal Yisrael, aval la anashim tzaddikim, pshita shaya lahem lizayet bama shatidin chachamim likzor alau. They should be careful for whatever next generations chachamim will be coming and putting decrees on. So it means Chachamim would come in a few generations and say, you're not allowed to be in the room with Goya. They should be already careful. They're Tzadikim, no? Kedamrin an Yoma. It says, Gemar Yoma, page 25. Ekev asher shama Avram bekoli. Even a heel Avram Avinu heard from Hashem. Means there was no mitzvah that later on Hashem will give to Moshe Rabbeinu. Avram Avinu didn't keep. Even a heel. Anything. מלמד שכם אפילו ערבי תבשילין, even ערוב תבשילין, ועוד ערוב תבשילין, with your heel until where you could walk on Shabbat. That's תחומין. תבשילין, cook, cook, cook that uh, you should be able to cook from יום טוב טיל, שבס. שהם מדה רבנן, which is? דה רבנן. So what is that, Ekev? What is that, Ekev? Heal. It's so simple. Like, it's easy. It's, it's, it's not the orator. You understand? It's easy to trample on these bits. Even, even this, Abraham, I don't care. And because the king of Israel had to Israel, before this, he had to do it in the name of the Lord. And before this, still, even before this, the Jewish nation sinned with the 
daughters of Moab. So how much more they should be careful with Lachav not to be in the same room? Lomar, and we could answer the Gemara Kiddushin Dafpei Amud Bet in Gemara Kiddushin page 80b Amrinan the Betelei Ukshari Shari. It says in the Gemara Kiddushin. Also, it's brought in the Gemara Brachot in the beginning over there. It says two people when they are Ksherim, you are allowed to be in a room with one woman. Why? Because each one will protect another. And it says over there in the explanation, Ella, the Gemara, the Kiddushin, it says in the Gemara Kiddushin, the Pe Alev Amud Alev, Masik, the Afilu Rab, Rav Yehuda, Lo Mikro Ksherim, Ella, Kegon Rabbi Hanina Bar Papi, Vachavelao. Even Rav and Rav Yehuda regarding this are not Ksherim, only like Rabbi Hanina and his group. And his colleagues. Beim Ken, I feel as an actually asru asura li tiachedim. So comes out our generations or even their generations even think shame are not good because they're not like Rabbi Chanina and Rabbi Papi, Rabbi Chanina Bar Papi. And Sham bechelkad mechokek. Look over there and chakem mechem. Ba hagoy was lama. Next, ume ata navol biu lakatuv. And also now we could come to explain the pasuk. Listen, why they were permitted to be with Lachav. In one room, in one house. And Achinami, Shaisha had spinach nehem. Really, Rachel was hiding both of them. It says, Batit, Batit menem be pishte haets, and she was hiding them in the flax branches, branches of the flax. Okay, Ella kechid lo tikshi. So you shouldn't ask. Ech nitiachadu balayla bet isha zona venochrit. How can you ask? How did they? Stay in the woman's house. She is zona, and she is goya. Mishumachi amara katuva tits penehu. Therefore, pasuk says she hided them. Mm-hmm. Uh, she hided him. Who him? Kalev. Kalev. Why she hided Kalev? Because Kalev is not called Malach. Pinchas is called Malach. He is not Tzadik. He is much stronger than that. He is not Lav Hanina Bar Papi. He is much stronger than that. He is Malach. And what about Kalev? Pinchas will protect him. She had to tell me to hide Kalev. She had to tell me to hide Kalev. Because Pinchas was Tzadik in a different level of Tzadik. He was like Angel of Hashem. Varaya. What's the proof? Shesofo na asa malach. What's the proof? Pinchas was tzaddik, like angel of Hashem, because he became a malach of Hashem. He became Eliyahu Anavi after this. He was not Eliyahu Anavi yet. He became Eliyahu Anavi. That's right. Ve en yetzerara sholed bo, because Pinchas was special. Yetzerara was not overprotecting him. Ve ha'inu la bichanina bar papi ve yoter mimenu. Pinchas was la bichanina bar papi and more than that. וגם כלב שהלך עמו, אין עושה כלב ואין וידים. בוודאי שהיה דומה לו צדיק כמותו. Since Pinchas and כלב went together, כלב was also compared to Pinchas. ואף אם לא יהיה חשוב כמותו, he was not so important like him to become a Levan Avi, עם כל זה Pinchas היה שומר אותו. Pinchas was protecting כלב so he shouldn't sin. And therefore they were allowed to be there together. But she converted that day, right? Huh? She converted that day? Yes, they helped her to convert that day and she got married to Yoshua. We're talking about marriages. Be'ezad Hashem! A lot of marriages which is here, Baruch Hashanah. Amen, amen. Ribi Hananiah, Ben Akashia, Amen. Ratzai Kadosh Baruch Hu, Vazikot Etzlael. Nevi Kach, Ezman Antonim.